Hey guys, Lego Overload here. So we're going to be reviewing um, these two cranes because there's similarities and everything. This one is Legoland 1489 crane. And then the other one is like a new one, new version of it. Um, and it's Lego City 60324, this guy. Um, and we're just going to be reviewing the two similarities and everything like that. Why I'm doing this is because I saw this online on Marketplace and like it was like at an okay price and I'm like I got it um, because it's just like oh this crane looks exactly like this one and this one I think just came out or last year um, and I'm um, like oh I don't know if they did this on purpose if Lego did this on purpose to like make a new updated version of this or something like that um, then I just thought that was pretty cool. It's like, oh, I just, maybe, but if it is, if they did do this on purpose, then I'm like, oh, that's sweet. So I just kind of want to do the similarities on it. Um, and this little crane comes with this little car. And then this big guy comes with this little plate that they can carry. Um, but yeah, we're going to review both of them and see what's the difference, what's the similarities, and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's start with the little guy first. So... Little guy comes with a little car, of course, um, character, and then you just kind of open this up, kind of have to like do it like that. I got the old pieces and stuff, vintage. Um, this is from like 1989. Um, like this goes up because like it's supposed to go down and like go up like that, but it doesn't really want to work. Um, but yeah, it comes with this little character. So that's driving the car. It's her. And then you got the crane here. So it's pretty cool to me how they did this. Um, because without that many tools they had probably back then. Um, and they just very creative back then. Like a lot of things that to make this looked very like very smart, I would say. And you got the little thing right here to lower it and rise it. The little thing, little hook, I would say. Um, then it hooks right here in the front and it doesn't swing anywhere. And then this goes up, but how it stays up is with this thing right here. And he stays on, um, I don't know if you can see that, but he stays on these little vent pieces and the little uh, plate right here connects and kind of just slides in kind of just stays in there and then you can like lower it or like rise it uh, I thought that was pretty cool um, how they did that um, and then this goes up and down you make the crane go up and down the hook and then this also goes this is pretty finicky it's very old um, so I'll push this down also to get a better angle this comes all the way out just give this more slack. And this comes out pretty far though, but there you go. Even further actually. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um then it's pretty far out, but then it can just kinda in and you know um goes up here so and then you got these little things that they would you would clip on these little hook not hooks these little clamps um and then it would kind of like stabilize like in real life stabilize the truck the crane truck um And why well, this one kind of tilted because this thing's bent, the thing just came that way. It doesn't really bother me too much. The other ones are fine though. But anywho, um, clamp those down on those four. Then you got a little bit more stable if you're carrying something heavy, it doesn't tilt or something like that. And then back here, you got the the thing to lower it or rise it for the hook um, and then they just put this thing they put it in there 
Um, and then this little thing right here, um, you take that off and then you put it on top of the car, like so, and then you just carry it. You just kind of do that. And then you just kind of swing it around and everything like that. And he can do pretty good at it. Okay. <laughs> he can do that. I'm not really sure why they have him carrying a car. It's like, okay. Um, but yeah. Okay, and then, um, bring it up and down. And then over in the front of the truck, we got this little guy. He has a little sunroof, and I thought that was pretty cool. That didn't take a long time to do that, did it? There we go. Uh, it kind of doesn't want to work. But anywho, um, this thing just swings open and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, and then you can grab the minifigure. And it also has a little sunroof. I think that was pretty cool for them to add that. I wish they could do that more. Um, then you got the worker guy, the guy that would work on the, the, the truck, um, when driving the truck, right here. Yeah. And then, oh, they only have one face, of course. Um, just inside this little cockpit, nothing much, and just a yellow steering wheel. Um, and yeah. And then you got this little thing right here to connect it, to make it stable and it doesn't fly everywhere. Um, yeah. That's basically it for that. Okay, now you got the big crane, the new updated version. Um, and you just, and it's sort of the same thing as everything. Is the other one just unhook and everything and this one um is a little better i would say because of the better pieces we have and stuff um <clears throat> but this makes what does this do this does yeah um this one makes the crane go up and down the go up and down all the way and then down and stuff and then it also has the hook of course going down and up um, and then this can go out pretty far. Um. Just, like, interesting to me, like, how they had all this system and stuff like that. And back then, they didn't have anything like this. And then they just used a couple bricks and pieces to make it work for that. It was pretty cool how smart they were. Anywho, um, but they had sort of the same system with the thing in the middle, a um, little bit of a different piece, um, to connect it right here, which then not go anywhere flying, um, but, <clears throat> um, but yeah, then you got right here, you got the things to stabilize the truck, didn't fall over or tip on its side. These ones are a little bit fancier because they just slide out and they stick back in, like, and they're pretty cool. Go from each side and everything. I think that's pretty cool how they slide in and stay in there and kind of lock in place. Um, I think that's pretty cool, but yeah. Um, then you got the characters inside. So you got a guy and a girl. And I think it's pretty cool too because, like, this I think this is like probably the first ever city car or city vehicle that I've ever seen that has two seats that can fit two people at once. Because maybe, well, maybe not. Well, okay, there's other trucks, like other semi-trucks um, that could do that. Um, but this looks very clean to me, um, I would say. And, um, and I just thought this was pretty cool, but I haven't seen any regular vehicle, like a car kind of vehicle, sitting two people at once, like, next to each other. Um, the only thing I've seen is, like, the Speed Champion sets, like, the newer versions, but those don't really count because they're a little bit too big for the roads. Um, but that's probably why it's not going to work either. But when you put this on the road, it's, like, it fits pretty well. It's not going oversized or anything like that, but it looks pretty accurate. Um, but yeah, but anyways, you got her, 
right here. We got one face, and then you got the printing right there, and then extra hat, hat and hair. And then you got the guy. So, blue jeans and everything. Jeans on the back, no face, but orange um, protector goggles. Um, but yeah, and then he also comes with the uh, crane, comes with this, and you just flip it on like so, and uh, yeah, just carry it like that. And he also moves side to side and uh, can knock out the people. <laughs> Anyway, that's um, that's both of them. Just wanted to show that. I just thought that was pretty neat and cool. It's a little thing. Um, but yeah. Let me show you up the minifigures up closer. Okay, here's the minifigures up closer. There's the guy. Comes in the old crane set. No printing on the back or anything. And here's the girl right here. Some blue and white stripes. And they only have one face, no two face. No printing on the back. Just simple design. Okay, here's the two people from the newer crane. Here's the guy. Only have one face on each of them. Some printing right there in blue jeans. And printing on the back. The girl. There, it's, it's this, I think it's yeah, it's the same, sort of the same. Okay, I'll show the printing on the back. There's the printing on the back on her, and here's the printing on the back of him. A little bit different. He has a walkie-talkie. She has like tweezers or something. But, yeah, some glasses and stuff. And, uh, Here's the two cranes right next to each other and everything. The other one's much smaller, of course. Um, but yeah. And what's behind that technic that technic check back there? It's just the uh, new Ford uh, Ford truck. I'm just building it. Just kind of stopped for a little bit. But yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe.